Hello, my name is Nathaniel Howick. I'm currently in the Acquia U program at Acquia's Burlington office. And today I'm going to be covering um, basic setup for open layers in Drupal 7. So I'm going to assume that you already know how to install Drupal. And we're going to go into our Sites All modules directory quickly. So I can show you that I've got CTools. GeoField, Libraries, Open Layers, and Views installed here. And under Libraries, um, so we've got Sites All Libraries, I've got GeoPHP uh, installed as a geo rendering uh, system. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install some modules. In this case, we're going to scroll past Core and click for CTools, we want all of the open layers modules here. We want GeoField, Libraries, and Views and Views UI. And we'll save that. The next thing that we'll do is we'll ensure that the cache is cleared. So if we go into Configuration, Performance, Clear All Caches, and this will just make sure that GeoPHP library is getting picked up by Drupal. And we can verify that under Reports status report and here we've got GeoPHP library installed and it's picking up the version number as well as the location in our directories. Okay the first thing that we'll do now that we have everything in place is we'll go to structure and create a new content type. We're going to call our content type location and we'll just save all the defaults, accept all the defaults. And we're also going to manage the fields and add a location field to our location content type. And this is going to be a geo field. We'll accept all the defaults for the geo field settings. And again, this is just the final screen for the GeoField field settings. Now that we have our content type in place, we're going to add a few nodes so that we have something to test against later in the tutorial. And we'll put a point um, here in Boston, or thereabouts, I'm not sure because I'm not zoomed in. And we'll do one more of those. We'll add another point here in the Atlantic Ocean. And we'll call that good. Okay, the next step is creating a new view that has an open layers overlay. So we're going to add a new view. And here we're going to call this um, custom overlay. And in this case, we want content of type location and no page, no block, continue and edit. Once we're in here, we're going to now add an open layers data overlay uh, display type. And then we're going to add our location field to this view. So we've got content location deselect the create a label, use the defaults, and lastly we're going to go into format and make sure this open layers data overlay option is selected. For the settings, map data sources will put at WKT. The WKT field is our location and our title field is our title. We'll leave everything else as is for now. And we can save that, and we're done. The next thing that we'll do is we'll look at open layers. So here in open layers, we've got this layers tab up top. And at the very bottom of the list, we should see, and here it is, our custom overlay that we just created in views. The next step, we're going to go into the open layers maps tab. 
And in here, we're actually going to create our own map. And what we're going to do, just to keep this simple, is we're going to clone the GeoField formatter map. And we're going to add in a new machine name. And we need to modify layers and styles. So under layers and styles, if you scroll down, you should see overlay layers. In here, we're going to deselect placeholder for geofield formatter options. And we're just going to set our custom overlay to enabled and activated. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click save. So we could technically stop there and we can actually use that custom map that we just created in a number of different places on our website. But we're actually going to go ahead and do one of the easy options and create a new view. In this case, we'll call our view map, just to keep it simple. We don't really need to set any filters. We're going to create a page. And the display format, open layers map, and we don't need a pager. We'll accept all the other defaults, continue and edit. Once we're in to our view settings, we can go into the format settings and make sure that we have our overlay selected from the previous step. And if we look, we can actually see here are the two points that we created earlier, both displayed on the same map. Now that I've saved this, I can go to view the page and we can see that at our map address slash map, um, this is our custom view with our custom overlay displaying geodata from our location content type. And that's it. Um, now you should feel free to go back once you've got this working tweak all the different display settings, and make some really nice custom maps in Drupal. Thanks a lot.